seating charts. So you know, in school, when you just want to sit by your buddies, but they put you next to someone you might not be comfortable with, and then you just you just have to you just have to sit there and deal with it because they're not going to let you move no matter how much you plead. That goes on a lot, on a lot throughout uh, my school years, you know. I'm still in school, and today we moved seats in one of my classes, and I was okay with it because I was finally getting away from one of the worst seats I've ever had in my life. So that made me think of making a YouTube video about seating charts. All right. So, seating charts are always a gamble, okay? On one side, you could sit next to one of your good friends or a couple of your good friends and have a great time, great seats, mess around a little bit, but hopefully still get your work done. And then you can end up sitting next to some brainy people, some that uh, may be uh, a little annoying, you know? Some that you might not want to sit next to. Or... You could just start sitting, or you could sit next to the weirdos. Okay, I'm, that's that's not being mean, it's just some people are a little, uh, a little strange, you know? It's just, it's not necessarily their fault, but they, that, I, I just wouldn't want to be friends with them, you know? It's like, it's, it's just bad being around them. So... The other day, well, uh, a couple months ago, uh, my math teacher decided to put me next to a kid that I hate more than any other kid. Actually, not more than any other kid. There's one kid that I hate more than this kid. But besides that, who constantly picks his nose, is the most has the most annoying voice ever. His haircut, even his haircut triggers me. Okay, it's just. I hate him so much, and I had to sit next to him for three months. And then there was also this anime kid next to me who also kind of bothered me, but he was he was better than than this kid. There was one fine kid at my table. He was okay. I was fine with him. But just every day I'm gonna come into math and just listen to this kid that I hate talk. It just made me mad. I just I hated it so much. And then you just have the potential with seating charts to sit next to people who are so terrible. But they're just always a gamble because you could be na the teacher could randomly put you next to a friend. I hate seating charts. Now I understand why they're in place so the kids don't mess around all the time, but they're just so they're so bad. Just that's the video, honestly. Seating charts suck.